Hey, opposing good day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Burke, and this is going to be a quick video on Team USA inking out a win over Team Austria as they have to come back in the game. As you have to honestly give the claps up to Team Austria for the fantastic game because they gave Team USA, I think, much more of a run for their money than much would have anticipated, and they had a fantastic game as it took till overtime and a great defensive play by Luke Hughes, one of the three great Hughes brothers, to be able to get a play, get up the ice, and score on the breakaway goal. Um, Strassmann played great again in net, but David Kickert, uh, he played pretty good. I think he would want that goal back by Adam Goldet, but it did seem like it might have hit off of the Austrian defenseman as he was trying to get back to stop that game-tying goal to score in the power play for Goldet on the offensive rush. But Paul Hubber or Paul Huber, excuse me, who's a 6'4 kid that is a good puck hounder. It's going to be interesting to see if he's a late rounder or a guy that's picked up out of the draft, um, if he's not drafted by a North American team, because he's always good to have size and the hounding puck um, ability of a guy like Huber. Uh, Kiefer Bellows was able to score on a brilliant backhand that he was able to just really pick his spot. And then <clears throat> their first goal was a really nice play by one of the better draft prospects, Marco Casper, as he was able to get it in front of Benjamin Nez Nesner, as Nesner was able to fire that one home in front of the cage. So then it looked like Austria was rolling in this game. And again, uh, even for being a <coughs> from USA here, I have to give all the credit to Austria they deserve because they played a hell of a game, and Kicker played a hell of a game as well. Again, I don't think Bellows, that was just a great goal. I mean, he could have been quicker to his post, but I mean, that was just a great pick of the shot. Goldet one, he might went back, but if it hit the defenseman's stick, there's not much you can do there. And then Luke Hughes, there's no chance you're stopping Luke Hughes m most times on breakaways. It don't matter if he's a defenseman, he's a lethal one at that, especially in the offensive zone, especially when on breakaways. He's going to score most of the time. But I thought this was an A game by Austria, honestly, to be able to stay in it that much with USA. Where for USA, I thought this was more of a B plus, maybe level game because they got off to a start where they allowed Team Austria to have two good plays. They obviously allowed Casper uh, to set up uh, behind the net to pass it to Nisner in front, and then Hubber was able to score that uh, crashing goal to be able to make it 2-0 so you have to block out your net front in the slot a little bit better than USA did early, but then they bounce back. They're able to tie it and have a very good closing period, of course, in the third period. Uh, to be able to keep it tied and have a very good defensive period as well as Austria did as well. And then they're able to win it in OT because of another good defensive play, this one by Luke Hughes, to be able to get it up and score where him and Sean Farrell were pestering them in the zone. And then they were able to get it up and score. But this has been a quick recap of Team USA inking out a win, coming back against Austria. As you got to hand it to Austria, I would say they had the A-level game. Austria, or Austria had the A-level game. And USA had about the B to B-plus level game. Because they they gave them the 2-0 lead because they weren't able to block out their net front as well as you would hope. But then they were able to prevail and come back in this game. Everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Please subscribe down below or up above on the easy huge widget to keep the channel growing to the goal of 250 or more by the end of or by the start of June, I should say. Peace out, everybody, and enjoy the hockey.